Hey my friends, it's the Late Boy Scout and this is my review of the Shield Hybrid Holster by Aegis Armory. The nice folks at Aegis Armory got in touch with me and asked if I'd like to try this thing out. You know, it looks like an interesting holster. I got on their website first, of course, and made sure that there was something different, something interesting, something special about it because there are a lot of good holsters out there and I don't really want to just roll in front of the camera something that's just alright. You know, something that's okay and I've got some other holsters that I've never shown you guys because like I said I just think they're okay they don't do anything special but there's some special things about what Aegis Armory offers in their shield holster that I really wanted to show you so I said yes absolutely I'd like to get a hold of one to try out with my car CM9 which has been my daily carry for oh man I don't know how long a good little while now love the gun and the shield holster for it just feels fantastic so we're going to talk about a few of the features on here, why I think it's a good option for holsters. And there are a whole lot of great options out there, guys. Let's be honest about that. This is not by any means the best holster or the only good holster that you could ever buy. But it's a pretty darn good one for the type of holster that it is. Let's talk about some of its features. Well, you can see that the leather here is sort of a chocolate brown. I don't know if they still offer that sort of color. Um, I'm on the website right now looking and it looks like they only offer black right now. They may go back to some other colors, I don't know. Keep uh, checking with them, but black, by the way, is a pretty cool color. It goes with everything, so why not just order one in black, right? It's got that cool emblem on it. Yeah, I'll take that. That's very nice looking. We'll talk a little bit about the construction of it. Obviously, it is a nice quality leather that's just... I don't know, man. They've done some good work with this to uh, to make it so that there's really no break-in period. You put it on and it's comfortable from day one. Whatever they do to make sure that uh, that, that happens, I don't know. They did a good job of it. it. It really works. It's very comfortable from day one. So that's, that's awesome. They also uh, bevel and burnish all the edges to give you some nice rounded comfort and also just some nice aesthetics. They do that to all you know, all the edges of the leather. So that's really cool. They use these Chicago screws to attach the clips, which are tuckable clips. You can see that. So that means this is a tuckable holster. That's great. And fairly minimal clips. They'll do the job. And they do seem to retain the holster in my pants, you know, and in that belt. The belt hasn't been slipping out of that from the uh, range work I've done with this. And I'll show you some of that here in a little bit. Now this is one of the really special things they've done with this shield holster. They added some slots right here and here, making it so that you can make this an outside waistband holster as well as an inside waistband holster. You just detach those Chicago screws, just a Phillips head right there, take those screws off. There's a little uh, nylon, not nylon, but a little rubber washer under there, a little gasket holding it in place. You remove all that and then you put it on outside the waistband and uh, here's a look at how that works I felt like it's you know really comfortable to wear that way if you enjoy having your holster on the outside of your waistband instead of on the inside it's very comfortable it's concealable if you have something over it some sort of cover garment and um, man the gun feels just as comfortable in there as it would in the waistband it draws just as well reholsters just as well so Make, give me both options there is pretty cool because not only can you use this as a concealment holster, but you could use it as a range holster, as a type of training holster. That's just a big, huge bonus right there. They do some great work with the Kydex here, and this is the sage green or foliage green version with a kind of a carbon fiber texture to it. Don't ask me how they achieve that, but it is pretty cool looking. Some of the cool things they do with the Kydex is they flare the trigger guard area, making reholstering very easy and that's very nice nice rounded edges all the way around that kydex plus just some cool shape to it it's mainly for aesthetics but looks really nice if there was one thing i would ask for maybe i'd want the, to have this attached by chicago screws instead of riveted making it possible for you to reposition that on the leather if you wanted to you can however reposition the clips so that gives you some limited capabilities in adjusting the cant of your gun, but uh, you do have that option a little bit. There's a generous sight channel for your gun at the top of it right there, making it possible for, you know, 
your draw to just be really easy and comfortable and if you added some night sights or some other sort of raised sights up there you've got the room to make sure that uh, your gun will go in and out of your holster still pretty easily and you can see that that's kind of a, a little lip right there a little ledge right there making it so that you have that sort of raised channel so that you don't really have to worry about uh, making any changes to your gun if you wanted to do that you know your holster will still be compatible now I've carried my car CM9 in this shield hybrid holster from Aegis Armory for a good little while, a couple of months. I wanted to give it a good workout, both for carrying and also for a little bit of range work. I took it to the range, did some shooting with it, did some draw and shoot drills, tried to make sure that I could draw from this holster and reholster into it as well and as easily as I thought I could. Now I'd done that dry fire, I try to dry fire as often as I can. Uh, so I'd done that for a while. But taking it to the range is one of those things that uh, I try to make a point of doing as, as frequently as I can. So I got it out there, did some of those draw and shoot drills, and like I said, it performed like a champ. Just really comfortable to wear, really comfortable to uh, get back into the holster. Just a very positive, very easy, very natural cant to it, and the click is very positive. Everything about it in uh, reholstering and drawing. It's just the perfect presentation that you can get from a holster like this. So the execution of it, uh, the design of it, extremely well done. The Shield Hybrid Holster from Aegis Armory comes in starting at around $55 plus shipping. And man, is it worth it. Can you do better than this? Possibly, but I can't imagine a lot better than uh, this one. It's just a really well designed, really well put together holster for whatever your handgun is. And again, mine is a fairly small one. I imagine putting a Glock in a larger version would work just as easily or 1911 or whatever. Because uh, yeah, the comfort is there, the construction, the design is all there. And uh, you're gonna love it. I'm the late Boy Scout. I hope you've enjoyed that review. We'll see you later.